Welcome to the AES Tom Moore Show. Today we're going to be talking Meet about Meet 28-year-old Tom Moore, a WCBM doctors. talk show host, and 32-year-old Melanie Bodencheck, a physician rep. They're both looking for that someone special. So too are dozens of other folks in the Baltimore area. Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> someone who likes bowling. Down to earth, but not too down to earth. Well, let me tell you what I'm not looking for. Not conceited. Not a fan of the conceited men. I don't want a liar. Uh, spontaneous, a little bit crazy, but not too crazy. These date seekers like Tom and Melanie are braving a new trail in the world of romance. They're participating in Dating On Demand. It's a new service from Comcast. Yup, that Comcast. We're the first service ever to provide video personals with online dating opportunities. Dating On Demand offers profiles for a variety of people who want to date. Think Match.com with voices. Date me. For free, Comcast customers who have On Demand can view all sorts of adults. Men, women, young, not so young, all local except in the viewer favorite section. In that category, you can see what people in other cities get to choose from. I'm sort of a wild and crazy guy. I would like to meet somebody from another planet, truly. I mean, I live at home with my parents. UFO, an alien. Although that shouldn't be a detraction against people. Working on getting together. Yeah, I'm sort of a barrel ass to be around. If, or shall we say when, you find someone who strikes your fancy, switch from your television to your computer. Yes, you must be tech savvy in today's world of love. But we're such an internet-based society today. Simply log on to datingondemand.com. Type in the profile's username, and you can learn more about the person. Before any digits can be exchanged, though, you must first register with hurrydate.com. Our dating on demand is kind of the video product, and hurrydate carries the internet traffic and, and makes the connections via the internet. And then it's up to Cupid and those arrows. Comcast launched into the world of dating last Valentine's Day. And in this, in its first year, the company says dating on demand has had almost a million and a half views in the Baltimore region. But spokesperson Anna Custer admits not everyone takes dating on demand seriously. We have seen a lot of people check this out for fun, for entertainment, as well as looking for somebody um, for a possible romance. So if you're bored and you like to channel surf, it's it's a great thing to do. We figured, what the heck, we'll go out to this uh, dating event. We're both single. We'll fill out the profiles. Tom and his friend submitted their profiles at a dating event Comcast sponsored. So did Melanie. And I was with my friends, and it was there. And it said, free drinks, if you did it. Well, you can also it. send in your Other homemade profile. Text, so how is our fedora-loving Tom making out? He's, He's received video. some responses. Usually pretty interesting. A couple, uh, couple duds out there. Melanie is still waiting. I have more time for dating right now. <laughs> it's winter. It's before summer. And Anna, well, she's not quite ready to blaze that trail in romance. <laughs> I work for Comcast. I have to draw a line between my personal and work life at some point. So. <laughs> is that an excuse? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Jenna Maloney, Fox 45, News at 10.